How's it going, just mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clanad, the visual novel. A Tomoyo root playthrough. Right, previously, we helped fucking Furuka get some fucking cutlet sandwich. Really made me hungry, because I actually want some meaty porky. Oh, I want some cake bolognese. Of course, I think it's called Catalone for dinner tonight. And once that has chicken in it, it doesn't feel very cheaty. I want something, I want red meat, or meat that's going to make me fat and die at 30. Anyway, we're not here to talk about my dinner tonight. I, I said the previous thing, alright, I'm just going to get along with the story. During classes after lunch, fucking gorgeous tasty lunch, I look out from the window and see a certain student, bunny hopping, still in his school uniform. Alright, is he like a disabled child or something? You put that much work into sports or studying, you would have turned out great. Wait, is this Sunohara, like, practicing for later? What a fucking weirdo! Alright. Home run ends, and it's after school. Sunohara comes up to me, weaving his way through the students heading home. The time has finally arrived. Wow, you are determined and actually quite angry, if I'm honest. Your hair's pretty messed up. Is it? it doesn't look too different. What kind of training have you been, do been off doing, sorry? For the last part, I hung myself from an iron bar and did upside down sit-ups. You fucking man. You fucking Terminator. Even the sports clubs don't do that kind of harsh training. But did we actually see him do it? Because he could have looked pathetic actually doing it. It was as though my body has finally woken up. You're still gonna get thrashed, aren't you? Because she's a black belt or some shit. We're gonna find out that she was like the King of Iron Fist Tournament. Enter the Tekken. I see. So your sleeping sphincter muscles have finally awakened. Yeah, they're all revved up and ready to go. Don't come too close or you'll be in danger, boy. What, is he going to strangle me to death with his ass? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? That's the kind of thing I would write. Fine, okay. All preparations done. Let's go. Right, I still think you're putting too much effort into this and you're just going to end up hurting yourself. It's our girl! So, just why did you call me all the way out here? We confront Tomoyo in a deserted hall in the old school building. This guy here is my friend, Suna. Well, didn't you say that you weren't friends earlier? I mean, I like you. Maybe you were. Maybe you like, actually did say you corrected yourself. But, you know, I I'd say friend is a bit of a strong word for you. Please, just spare a little time to listen to what he has to say. All he wants is to show you the pure feelings he has for you. Right, this is getting a bit messy. When was this part of the plan? Stop making it look like I'm going to confess to her! How dare you do me in like that this morning? It's a question now, apparently. We don't know if that actually happened. I didn't do anything. You were the one who started it. That doesn't matter. What matters are the end results. This guy is an idiot, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> you two quit getting along. Calm down, Tsunahara. Just take deep breaths. <laughs> Wait, you're the one agitating me here. Damn, I'm tired of being insulted. Like, why don't you just beat me up? At least you get some satisfaction out of it. Or am I your friend? I mean, again, I still wouldn't define us as friends, but whatever. Well, whatever. I only underestimated you before. However, this time will be different. If you say so, you really never learn, do you? Was the difference between our levels not clear enough already? How do you plan on closing a gap that large in such a short amount of time? Just give up. Sunohara is being admonished by a junior and a girl of that. Does it? Is it really that weird for a girl to be a fighter? I mean, hey, I would have thought in Japan you'd see. Well, actually, no. I suppose there's like a bit more of a traditionalist role in Japan, but we have like Asian fighting films with, with that sounds really racist. I'm not racist. Uh, sexist. Yeah, okay, but I still think she could be strong and mighty and independent. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I see you're underestimating me. I also hear the dubstep, and it's really irritating right now. <laughs> it's probably natural, considering she absolutely demolished you earlier. Okay, listen. Tomoyo, was it? What is it? If you stay off the pitch for too long, no matter how good a pitch you are, you'll throw, you'll throw a ball that'll get hit. Sunohara, that's a really lame metaphor. Just look at in Inatsu in the good old days. I don't know who that is. Continuously pitching strikeout to strikeout. Not exactly my fighting style. To stop already, even I can't follow anymore. Just what is this guy trying to say? Tomio looks at me with a pained face. 
Sorry, I don't actually know this guy. <laughs> yeah, there goes the not friends uh, statement. Like hell you don't. And don't look away when someone is talking to you. Your speech is too long. Just get to the point. <laughs> In short, what I mean to say is I only underestimated you before. Isn't that exactly what you just said? H huh? Wait, who gives a damn? I can say it as many times as I want to. Sorry, but I have seen tenacious people like you countless times before. And the end result was always the same. Just let it go. I won't think any less of you for it. Well, she seems like a, quite a wise girl, to be honest. Especially for our age. Or what? Do I have to make it so you can't come to school anymore? Before you'll be satisfied? Even when faced with a situation like this. She can say a line like that. What? It, it's not like there's any real threat here. I mean, Sunahara is like as strong as a kitten. Sunahara, who was actually the one who came to pick a fight with her, starts to become flustered. It must be because of her immense composure. <laughs> However, even Sunahara can't back down after coming this far, so he tries putting up a front of bravado as hard as he can. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's really, you're just wasting your time here. I wonder which one of us will be the one to not come to school anymore. That'd be you. Don't answer me, damn it! You there, the one that's with this guy, but is pretending to be an outsider. Apparently that's me. You all back me up, right? That I was only acting in self-defense? Yeah, and in the future as well, no matter how many times you need me. Oh, oh, all right then. Well, I didn't expect you to, like, you know, fall in love with me for sticking up for you. I mean, I am on this girl's side. Sunahara is just an idiot. And he, he's been picking a fight with this girl for no particular reason, but, you know. In that case, I'll take you on. Ha 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 ha! That's some confidence you've got there. So, what would you like me to do? Shall I send you flying for a bit? That sounds like fun. That's actually one of my specialties, so leave it to me. She's really getting along with me all of a sudden. As if that's even possible. Quit nitpicking and come at me! Alright. It takes just an instant for her to dash right up to Sunahara. H huh? Damn it! Sunahara holds out his arms in defense, but in vain. She slips right through them, leaving the two face to face. Oh my. Then, using the momentum accelerated from her dash, she unleashes onto him a massive flurry of kicks. There we go, I was waiting for that. At least I actually got to see it that time. Oh, he really is flying. Outsider, open the chute. Huh, oh. I quickly run up to the garbage disposal chute that's set in the wall and open the lid. And then he fucking, you know, has a new home and it's called the garbage disposal. With her final kick, Sunahara is sent plunging headfirst into the open hole in the wall. Wow, help me! Oh, just relax your shoulders. Bit by bit, he slides further in. This can't be happening! Okazaki, save me! Slump. His body sinks further and further into the wall. If you didn't know the situation, it would look like the lower half of somebody's body is attached to the wall. It's an extremely eerie looking sight. Well, I'm sure I'd like to see some creepy pasta content, some horror manga right now, but unfortunately the game's not going to give it to me. Slump. Agah! Only the tips of his shoes, clutched to the edge of the wall, are left visible. If I move your feet, you'll fall. If you move your feet, you'll feel united. Da da da. Bum. Ba da. Da da. We're going downtown. Sorry, I'm trying to fit as many songs as I can into this channel. That's my new goal. That's my, my new target in life. Should I? Ah, so you want to fall. Okay, I understand. I didn't say anything. With the flick of a finger, Tomio removes Sunara's grip on the sheet. Don't I get any mercy? Wait, whoa! Ah! His well of death slowly fades off into the... Oh, is it one that actually goes down through the building? Like, um... Like Silent Hill 2. That's the game that's going to be coming soon to this channel again. Suddenly, her body stiffens. That's an interesting face. This is bad. He might have died. Nah, it's him we're talking about. He'll be just fine. I answer her refreshingly and top it off with a big thumbs up. It's something I used to do to my friends when I had them. Really? That's a relief. I based that on absolutely nothing, by the way. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. We laugh together as if we're some sort of teen drama. Hey, we could use that for the drama club that we ditched. Well, with this, I'm sure he's finally learned his lesson. I hate to disappoint you, but he's not the kind of guy who'll learn his lesson just like that. That's troubling if that's the case. Please talk to him again to stop. It, sh it should be nice if he were the type to actually listen to what I have to say. Aren't you two friends? 
I'm really not sure. No, you're really fucking not. I only hang out with him because it's fun watching him go crazy. So you mean to say that this is going to continue? Until he gets tired of it, at least. I've really gotten myself caught up in something bothersome here, haven't I? Oh dear. Well, if it really starts bothering you, just tell me. It bothers me plenty already. Honestly, you don't look too bothered by it to me. What, is she not like losing hair or like ripping her skull out of her body? Is that what you want to see before you think maybe she's too like bothered? Sniffle. Perhaps worrying that she might be sweating, she tugs her turtleneck shirt and puts her nose underneath. After taking a deep breath, she adjusts her collar back to normal. But even so, watching the two of you does bring back memories. Okay, did you have to leave for school as well? Because that's a trend in this game. Everyone seems to have to leave school for some reason and they come back not knowing anyone. I think it's nice being able to do crazy things like that. You've been doing some awfully crazy things here too, you know. Better yet, you've better things even far more incredible in the past, if those rumours are to be believed. Probably murdered someone knowing you. I wonder if she's been trying to restrain herself these days. If you have even the least bit of conscience in your heart, please make him stop. Maybe if I feel like it. Yeah, I'll be hoping for that. Okay, she clearly fancies me. And I gotta say, between her and Furukawa, I'd prefer to have her. But between her and Miss I, I'm gonna have to take some time to think about that. Saying that, she leaves. Alright, bye. Miss you. Aren't garbage chutes supposed to be made so people can't fall in? Didn't you just dislocate your joints there? Couldn't you have gone trapped in there? And then, you know, stopped it. I mean, I know this is meant to be like, you know, a light, light hearted, fun. I was gonna say hunky dory, but I've said that way too many times lately. Like, was it even safe to do that? Nah, whatever. As if I'd fall in just because of that. Anyway, Okazaki. He brings his face towards me. What, man? That girl is seriously strong. Yeah, I actually noticed that a while ago. Mm. Well, I guess this means that the legendary girl really does exist. She does not. You still don't believe it? It's impossible for a woman to be stronger than a man. I really feel like by playing this game, I'm digging a hole for myself. Like, that's like the fifth sexist thing at least. You know, I once got told off for like, that I wasn't actually right. I said something because I was trying to express the pain. We're talking about like racism in the 80s for a comic book group. I said the slightest thing, like a personal opinion. And it wasn't like anything that said that, you know, black people were bad or anything. But it was just a comment about how they were portrayed in the comic book. And I got fucking scolded for 15 minutes straight. This guy says things left and right about women having to be weaker than men. No one bats a fucking eyelid. I just think that's a bit concerning. You just made yourself an enemy of every woman in this country. <laughs> I mean, you saw how she looked, right? Well, I agree in regards to that Tomoyo girl, although... Right? It's almost absurd. Could it be? What? Could it be that she's actually a guy? I'm really getting worried for your life now. Well, just don't develop a crush on her if it's a him, because, you know... That'd make you gay. I know being gay is bad in this game as well, apparently. It's a, it's a joke, really. Why? Just try saying the same thing right in front of her. <laughs> yeah, that'd end up with you dead. Mm. I guess he's imagining it. Mm. He's probably flying through the sky right now. Mm. And now he's probably being cremated. Oh, dear. You, uh, let's not do that, yeah. Now you think you're maybe, you know toning it down a bit now? I think you really should think about doing that. You don't like being ashes? You honestly think I was imagining that far ahead? I only went up until about the part where I jump out of the casket in a panic. That means you came back to life. That's impossible, you know. What, we're a mind reader now? We're a psychic? What, really? Just suck it up and burn. Why does any of this even freaking matter? At any rate, I'm going to go check. Going to check whether you can be resurrected from ashes? Why would I test something so dangerous with my own body? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, end up burning like, ah, shit, well, I guess I can't come back. I mean, you won't have the brain to think how to come back anyway, so... I mean, go test whether she's a man or not. She is in Tomoyo. Yeah. How? There's plenty of ways, and I'm gonna check until I know for sh Oh, no. Is this gonna end up with a trip to the female's locker's room? Because I don't think I want to see that. I don't want to feel inappropriate while I play the game. At this point in time, Sunahara had yet to realize that he had begun to walk the path of the pervert. I could totally hear that, you know. 
Just pretend you didn't. It'll be far more fun that way. As if I'd do something perverted. Well, you're gonna have to to get there, and I can see you doing that because you're a smug little prick. Don't worry. Everything will turn out fine. Why don't I trust that smile? Why do I think this is the smile of someone who's gonna get expelled? Well, be sure to stay safe. I want to be able to hear your findings. Don't look down on me. I think you lose the right you lose the right to say that after you get your ass handed to you in a fight like that. Can't really call it a fight if you know you just got beaten to death. I just call it a mauling. Anyway, I won't give up on trying to discourage him for now. I face Sunahara and give him the thumbs up. Always a good thing to do. Good leck! I'll be praying for your pervertedness. Leg? What, lecturer? Okay. I say this in the most refreshing way possible. Yeah! Sunara took it as a wish for good luck and gives me an equally refreshing response back. Even though I basically just called you a lecturer. Alright, well that's nice, that's always good. Hooray! Time has advanced. And we're not in a dream world, so thank- I don't want to fucking listen about that fucking boring bullshit. But what's gonna happen here? Now it's a brand new day. I guess you guys will have to wait for that. In the next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game yourself, see if you can find out if Tommy is a man or a woman. Pretty sure it's a female there, but you know. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, Blue Book Scrub Channel until next time. See ya!